Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about ideal speaker listening positions part two. There really is no such thing as, you know, everything is a little bit subjective. It's got a physics base to it, but as human beings, you know, subjectivity comes into play all the time. Unfortunately, and fortunately, it has both sides. So, two types of setup, near and far field. I think we're all kind of familiar with near field. That's what engineers use. They sit real close to the speakers. Why do they do that? Less room sound, right? Less room sound has to be better, especially if you're mixing and you want the mix to translate. You want less room, more mix, more music, right? So near field, like four feet from speakers, I think that's a, a good distance we can use for purposes of discussion. Far field, greater than four feet, let's say six feet from the speaker, give, you know, give or take. There's no set rules here. I'm just trying to give you a feel for, for the differences here, okay? Near field, high resolution. I mean, you can hear what the singer had for breakfast if you have good speakers. So very, very high resolution with near field because you don't have any room sound. You're right in line with the direct energy, <clears throat> excuse me, from the speakers. I mean, this is the energy we want, right? That straight line energy. We don't want this. You know, we don't want this reflection off the rear wall. We want this straight line, direct energy. Shortest distance between two points, <clears throat> straight line, right? So the bottom line here is that's the cleanest, that's the purest, that's the most unadulterated or, or lack of uh, room distortion mixed in, okay? What do we get with near field? Well, we get good resolution, we get good definition, we get a sound stage that's very, very small, actually between the speakers, okay? If we want something a little bitter, bigger, we go to far field, bitter, could be. <laughs> Larger sound stage with height and depth, obviously because the speakers are farther apart and we're farther away from the speakers or the sound producing device. Here's a big thing that people just don't understand. Stereophonic playback is a phase situation. So we have to be really cognizant of time signatures and manage those correctly so that they balance with the direct energy from our speakers, okay? So sidewalls, we use this inverted U. You're gonna create an inverted U. Now, how do we do that? Well, we do it with our carbon technology and our panels, okay? That's how we do it. And then the distances to the sidewalls must be equal because we gotta manage that distance with the proper rate and level of absorption. So if the distances are uneven and we use the proper rate and level of absorption, we're creating a phase situation, right? One side's a little bit farther away than the other. So it's gonna arrive at a different time than the other signal, just like stereo when it's recorded. Two microphones, signals are arriving at different times. That's what makes stereo, so it's, based on phase, basically. But it can be a beautiful phase, if there's such a thing as that, right? So how do we get this? Well, we have to use the proper rate and level of absorption. And I harp and I harp and I harp on this. And people just don't get it. There's not very many curves that work well for sidewall reflections. And you have to focus on this 125 to 500 cycle region. That's really critical. Engineers know this when they mix. I go out of my way to help engineers clean this area up all the time. This is the area that causes them to go and see if their mix translates in somebody else's room. This is where they struggle. And of course, they all struggle below 125 because of their rooms. So ideal speaker listening positions part two. A little bit more clarification from part one. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. 
We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.